Hey everybody, it's Kyle from Manta Games, and I want to start a new series where we go over all the new releases that are scheduled for the month ahead. Let's start off with the Goblin Warband, which is coming new in 2020. This is a brand new hard plastic kit that I am super stoked about, and I'm sure you've seen all of Rob Berman's various rantings and excitement about this. These little fellows are coming on a sprue of 10 where you can build them in a variety of different ways with either bows or spears to make spitters or sharp sticks. There are a ton of different heads and variety that you can make customization. Every single model can be built slightly differently, which is fantastic. Also included in the kit are two hard plastic maw beasts. There's a resin sting it and a resin sneak. These guys look fantastic. Brand new sculpts for goblins. And if you've been paying attention, you know that the stuff that's coming for Vanguard is going to be making its way into King's War very soon. So stay tuned. Next up, let's take a look at the Ogre Warband set. This comes with your standard warlord and three warriors. Also with the option to build out boomers or shooters, depending on which way you want to do it. And then, hey, if you notice... There's an Ogre Paymaster up there in the top left, and looks like he's been doing enough squats to make Dustin Howard jealous. Brand new sculpt that leads the way in the Ogre Warband box. Also for the Ogres in Vanguard is going to be the Booster. Now you've got the option for the Boomer Sergeant, which people have been loving on this model. Look at the fantastic little shell casing popping out the back. This is great. I love that he's strapped with additional shots right there. He's got dual-wielded pistols. I mean, what's not to love? And then you've got one of the nastiest ogre units in the list with the Berserker Bully there on the left. Dual wielding axes with the Mohawk. What's not to love leaping off the rock. This is going to be in a lot of lists. I think people love this as usual and the ability to have the official model now. Why not? Get it in there, guys. Last but not least, you'll notice the three little crocodogs. And while you'll know that there's not an official unit for them, these are going to be great markers that you can use for your units in Kings of War. And in Vanguard, it makes perfect sense you can have them right along with the cards that are included. The Ogres are also getting a support pack in the Ogre Matriarch. She is a beautiful... It's a she, right? That's a she? Uh, she is a beautiful uh, leader, feminine leader of the Ogres that uh, is going to kick a lot of ass. I'm terrified of this thing. You've also got the Ogre Siege Breaker support pack, and this is going to give away into exactly what's happening in King's War because the Siege Breaker support pack gives you the option to buy just one of these. Easy pickup. You can either throw it in with your regiment to have just that one extra model to kick it up to a horde without having to buy the entire second regiment. And that transitions us perfectly into Kings of War with the Ogre Siege Breakers. This is a unit that I know as long as I've been involved with Kings of War, people have been asking about, hey, when are we getting Siege Breakers? What are good conversion options for Siege Breakers? We'll ask no more because here they are at the end of September on the 28th. You have the ability to pick these up at your friendly local game store. They've got mallets that are the size of a freaking elf, tower shields that are standing that look pretty much as offensive as they are defensive. This is a fantastic unit. The meat grinder look on them, the armor the additional that they have these guys give the definition of the big shield rule they they literally bring it to life fantastic pickup for every single ogre general because it might arguably be the best unit in the list and if you want some additional variety you're going to get the ogre warriors regiment now the horde option is still available well, what this is is basically metal upgrades that give you a lot more variety to your kits uh, yes, they still skip leg day, but at the same time, these guys are packing a lot more punch, some additional variety. The weapons look a little bit more menacing, definitely brings them in line and, and updates them for 2020. And just in case you missed it from last month, we have the Walking Dead anthology book now available. If you've paid attention to the Walking Dead over the years and you've always been interested but never really jumped in, there's so many books and so many different ways to play. This is your single one-stop shop buy option for this game. Anthology consolidates everything from the entire timeline of Walking Dead and puts it into one book. It's a great pickup. If you're a veteran of the game, not only does this clean up your existing collection of books and rules, but there's going to be some additional content that you haven't seen before, new scenarios, new ways to play. It's a great way to get someone into the game, especially a friend, and also lightens your load when you're traveling around to play some games at friends' houses. Also for The Walking Dead, we get the Whisperer's Faction Starter and Booster. These guys basically wear the skin of walkers over top of them to blend in. It's a nasty take on things. I think that they're going to be a very popular option in The Walking Dead for both Call to Arms and All Out War. You get options for both. These are resin miniatures that look fantastic. I highly recommend you pick them up as soon as you can. So that's it. That's our first preview for the month of September in 2020. We got lots more to come. The rest of the year is packed full of goodies, and I really cannot stress that enough. There's so much good coming for the rest of 2020. COVID backed us up a little bit. No problem. Now we're going to release everything that we had 
throughout the rest of the year. You guys are going to be blown away by the kind of things that we're releasing. I'm sure you've seen some of the teaser videos that we're putting out right now. They're really exciting things. and I cannot wait to share them with you. So stay tuned. Check in with me at the start of next month.